Hello, this is Chris, ZL1CVD. Today I want to talk about the uh, microphone equaliser for the Yaesu FT710. It's also featured in the DX10, the FT991 and 991A, the FTDX101D and 101MP. But today uh, it's all set up pretty much the same in all the transceivers, so we'll just focus because it's handy on the and, and because I've got it set up, we'll focus on the FT710. In the menu settings, we have to get here on most of these transceivers, it's just a matter of pressing the function button, and we have a range of settings for the microphone. We have the microphone gain, and of course this adjusts the sensitivity of your microphone. And another feature that not a lot of amateurs are aware of is the AMC level. Think of this as like an anti-microphone gain. So think of a, you're talking on the radio and all of a sudden someone drops something heavy in the room and we have a sharp noise. Uh, what this does is it works against that sharp noise to reduce it down. Um, and how, and uh, how much it adjusts is uh, by... The default is 100, which is hardly any action against the microphone gain, down to, uh, down to of course, zero, which is lots of action against the microphone gain. It can actually work against your microphone gain, and I've seen on a lot of the groups people having problems setting microphone gain, and it's because their AMC level is too high, or too low, rather. Um, the ASU default for this is 100. Um, in the operation settings, there's also a thing called AMC release time. Now, AMC, this is uh, to do with uh, how quickly, uh, sorry, not how quickly it reacts. The uh, the level is to do with how quickly it reacts. This is to how quickly it stops reacting. So your choices there are fast, mid, and slow. Uh, it just depends on how you want to set your AMC level up. Okay, but getting back to our microphone equalizer we have the microphone equalizer is turned off when it's off here and you simply just click that button to turn it on there's another thing that it does affect microphone on uh, single sideband mode only and that is the uh, processor level and what this is is when we're transmitting on single sideband um, our, nothing is transmitted when we key the microphone until we talk it is a, think of it as a, your voice pushes the RF out. That's the way I've always thought of it. Um, and that's probably not correct, but anyway, that's how I think of it. And, and when you look at it on an oscilloscope that's, or RF generator, that's exactly what happens. Um, now we can adjust, well, what does the processor do, voice processor do, or PROC do? What it does is it aims to fill in the gaps in your voice uh, in between the tones of your voice to try and increase the average talk power of you of your signal so that in the single sideband mode it tries to push out as much RF power as possible so you have a level of between naught and naught which is off uh, to up to um, 100 again and 100 is quite intense so you're going to have to play around and look at, listen to yourself on, an, uh, on one of these online SDRs, uh, radios, um, to set the proc level up for single sideband. When you change your mode to FM, um, proc is also, uh, it doesn't work, proc doesn't work in that mode. And it's, it's only effective on, even though it shows us it's on there, it doesn't work. Okay, it's only for uh, single sideband. Now, so that was, we've covered mic gain, proc level, AMC level, and now we're going to talk about the actual microphone equaliser. So if you remember back in the old days with our stereo systems, we had a graphic equaliser for the audio, and we could change that, and we could highlight different parts of the sound of the song to, to adjust it to our hearing and to our speakers and to our room. We well, can do the same thing here with the microphone equaliser. However, you only get to set three different levels for it. Um, and these are set by equalizer one. If we go down, oh, if we go down, we can see that uh, 
then we've got equalizer 2, and then we can see we've got equalizer 3. And carrying on down, you'll see that there's another set. These are all called parametric equalizer 1, 2, and 3. Um, and then we can see there's another set called P parametric equalizer 1, 2, or 3. Well, the P parametric is to do with when our processor is off or on. But remember, in FM, P parametric doesn't come up. It's only for single sideband. So let's have a look at what we can change. We can change on each one of the three th three things. We can change the frequency. We can change a level, which is uh, between 10 dB to minus 20 dB. Okay, and we can change the bandwidth. Now the bandwidth, bandwidth is measured in a thing called Q, and Q is, uh, the term for that is uh, efficiency. How efficient is it? Well a zero Q means quite an efficient circuit, so the bandwidth is very narrow. If we go for a, say, a 10, a Q of 10, then the bandwidth is, is, is not very efficient and the bandwidth is very wide. So setting it to a Q of well, you can see the Yaesu defaults there. They've actually set these um, up so that they have very, very wide bandwidth. Because uh, the Yaesu defaults, I don't know whether you, yeah, you can see on the screen, come up as yellow. Uh, anything else that's not yellow on here is the uh, what I've set it to. But anyway, it can be very uh, daunting to set up your um, your voice from your microphone for your voice from uh, this screen. So I came up with a product called Cat Touch and Cat Touch allows us to do quite a number of things with our transceiver and one of them is to um, set up our microphone equalizer. So this is a pictorial representation of what we saw in the numbers on the screen. So we have a green bandwidth, this is for EQ1, a red, this is for the frequency range of EQ2, and blue here, which is for the frequency range of EQ3. We can touch the screen to move these along, or up or down, okay, to adjust to suit our voice. We can also save these settings. So for round town, for example, you uh, might be chatting to mates and you don't want to have a punchy voice. You want to have a nice mellow voice because you want to have long QSOs and you don't want to have to uh, get uh, air strain. So perhaps we set uh, a nice mellow one, nice and flat. Maybe even we'll cut off the lows peak the middles, fade it down a wee bit here. Um, we'll save that into slot 1 by hitting that. We could see it comes up saves. It said that it was saving it to the EEPROM which is inside this machine, oh, the cat touch, uh, to slot 1. Now, if we want to set it up for, say, uh, DX work, we're going to peak up here, we're going to peak up this one here, and we're probably going to peak up the base as well, or a little bit. Okay, we'll save that to slot 2. And why, we, why have we picked them up? Because we really want our signal to punch out. We want to get through the QRM and we want people to hear us. And they're not going to hear the lows, but they are going to hear the highs. Okay, now when we want to go and talk to someone locally, we simply press 1 and it will bring up our local chat. We are then finished speaking locally and we don't want to go and talk to DX, we simply press 2. There's up to five slots that you can save and recall on this and it just makes life a lot, a heck of a lot easier. So how does it work? So over here we have a, a, an analyzer, a Roden Schwartz analyzer and this is, this is a type of analyzer they use for um, setting up uh, and testing and repairing cellular equipment came from the cellular market. But it has a handy feature in it. It has a AMPS testing, and AMPS is just uh, as a form of uh, FM radio, if you like. And it has, it can, uh, this particular screen shows us the transmit audio frequency response. So this is the audio response. So my setup here today is I've got the transceiver, 
and we've got the output of the transceiver going up to an attenuator up the top here which in turn comes down to uh, our analyzer, it goes into the RF output. The analyzer has got a complete uh, transceiver built inside it, very very complicated transceiver um, with um, an audio analyzer, filters, all sorts of stuff. So what we're going to get the um, the analyzer to do, we're going to get it to generate an audio tone out this lead, um, which it is actually at the moment, um, and we can see that audio tone on our spec on our sorry on our oscilloscope, and we're going to be feeding that audio tone via my U butte handy dandy little adapter here into the microphone socket of our transceiver, and by clicking this switch here, we're going to transmit our signal. So, what's it going to show us? Hopefully it's going to show us exactly what we're setting up here. Now, the thing to remember, this is only running from, I've only set it up to run from 100Hz increments, 14 signals from 700Hz to 2kHz. So, I'm above the 2kHz here, but if I bring the peak down, you can see how it shows me the peak here. So it's only really looking at a small window here, this analyzer. But it does show us that we are cutting or boosting. And we can see the effect of when we get two of these signals quite close together, uh, how it really boosts it here, or if we cut down how, we, how it cuts there. So it's, we've effectively shown you pictorially uh, what happens when you cut and boost signals. All right, well, I hope that gives you a bit of a better understanding of how the um, microphone equalizer works on the on your Yaesu transceiver. And I guess um, the thing that you, the takeaway from this is that everybody's voice is different. Um, there are no two voices that are the same. There's no, and consequently, the microphone um, response is going is for your transceiver is not going to be the same as your PALS transceiver. So the best way to set your transceiver microphone up is to actually listen to yourself on an SDR or record it on an, one of these S online SDRs. Have a play around with the, uh, with the uh, cutting and boosting at various frequencies and see which one sounds the best to you. And I say uh, record it and record it because often when we listen at the time that we're talking, it sounds a bit different to than when we pay it back later on. So there you go. That's the microphone equalizer and how um, and how you know in a workshop we would test to make sure that the uh, audio response was correct in a in a transceiver. Thanks very much for watching my video, and if you like it, please hit subscribe. Thank you.